all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are soul level arise will be the topic uh, on today's video i want to deliver a global day one full guide um i will talk about all the things you should be focused on on the day one uh, on globe of global launch of soul leveling arise for the people who didn't maybe watch my previous video global launch will happen 8th of may so in 20 days the uh, global soul leveling arise will officially launch and now i want to make a day one guide what should you be focused on how to progress fast what mistakes you should avoid on the day one the banners the reroll, and all all that craziness so keep on watching leave a like subscribe i believe definitely it will be extremely helpful for you guys one thing play to win players will be able to progress faster in this game than free to play players but i can assure you there are some free to play players that are at my level which i'm like low spender but they played so much and like crazy okay have that in mind also uh, but yeah as a free to play you can do fine in this game okay but pay to win players will have definitely advantage i am low spender roughly 400 500 dollars until now roughly and um i'm usually in all activities i could easily go top 10 in the early access pretty much in all activities okay so let me start from the get-go uh, first we're gonna talk about the um, global day one banners i already did cover that on the previous video so i will be brief uh, the two banners we're gonna have on day one is the selection draw banner and this will be the radar banner which we're gonna have tsa or alicia most, most likely tsa and now the first question is for who you should reroll and the simplest answer that i can give you the rerolling is super easy first time it will take you roughly 15 to 20 minutes to do to do the tutor tutorial gameplay and then you can summon and then afterwards when you want to reroll you're going to be able to skip the tutorial gameplay have that in mind so the rerolling process will last after tutorial gameplay one minute literally rerolling is a must in this game and you have to reroll especially as a free to play um definitely you should reroll first of all for the raid up character ta so when you get her you're pretty much low-key done with the rerolling but as well we're gonna definitely have the some limited tickets in the beginning or the essence that we're gonna use to summon on this banner and here we're gonna get definitely some black tickets so you will pretty much reroll on two banners but this one will be your highest priority because you would you will want to get saw from the get-go that will be your main main priority like in my case it was choi and i needed him immediately from the get-go and then the the second banner if you manage to get Sa, and then you go to this banner and you, you do more summons, uh, then you have to create the proper rate up wish list. Now, I can tell you right away for the global launch, the best character will be her, Emma, Min, and this uh, bow guy, Lim, I believe that's his name. This is the four best characters for the global launch. Back is also extremely good, especially for the early access because we don't have light DPS. But if Tsa will drop and she'll be the light DPS, you won't actually need him. So you can go like, this is the four best characters that, that hopefully you can reroll one, one of those characters. But uh, like I said, the radar banner will be your highest priority to get Tsa. And then this banner, you're gonna be able to do a lot of summons because you will do certain challenges where you're gonna acquire a bunch of free black tickets and through the playing story and everything else so don't bother too much re-rolling on this banner but ideally it would be that you manage to re-roll for Tsa and then on this banner you get one of those uh, four SSR characters that would be amazing of course in that wish list you're gonna have to decide okay I will go for example like this I want Emma and Min. I've been using these two characters like crazy. And then I definitely recommend putting um, uh, Song Weapons. Song Weapons uh, are also in this banner and they're extremely important. The best Song Weapons are these two right here. This two. Skite, uh, we are getting it for free from the challenges. Have that in mind. So low key. Uh, also, we are getting one copy. So you don't have to go for that weapon. You can go for other weapons. Like, literally, this light weapon will be super important. This gun. Uh, and this weapon. Okay. And this new weapon, I didn't test it out, so I don't know. It can slow down the time and everything else. But this weapons right here will give you better critical rates and other 
um, other stuff for sunk, especially when you get dupes. So in my eyes, the four best weapon, four best weapons are this one. Since we're getting this for free and one more copy, you don't have to go for it. So you can play around. Would you like to go like this? It, it, that will be on you. But honestly, these three weapons are your highest priority. So my wish list on on global launch will be this. Pretty much this. I absolutely love Emma. Min is the best support in the game. Emma is closest, one of the best DPS in the game. So yeah, this is one of the wish lists that will work just fine on the day one global launch. Have that in mind. But like I said, you're gonna play around. You will get a bunch of summons from here. So hopefully you will get lucky. You don't actually need to reroll uh, for the SSR on this banner. Your highest priority is getting Tsa. Okay, and that's about the reroll. Now, I completed the... Uh, yeah, this, this is the part now. Okay, so you're done with re-rolling, you got what you wanted to get, and now this is your main, main focus. The great thing about this game is the ch chapter 1 to chapter 12 rewards. On the day 1, you should be immediately focused on these challenges, because here you will get a bunch of gold, you will get a bunch of essence, I mean bunch, it, it will stack, it will add up, okay, okay? So you're gonna get gold, you're gonna get enhancement material for the weapons, essence that you can replace to do the summons. Uh, so do the chapter 1, chapter 2, and so on and so on and so on. This should be your highest priority and this is how you should prioritize what you will do in this game. So pretty much the challenges will tell you what to do next from the get-go. When you finish all of these chapters, you're gonna get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120 free summons just from here. And in chapter 9, you're getting the Scythe uh, sunk weapon. And on chapter 12, another weapon which will be a which will be a dupe that is extremely important for sunk extremely important that first copy of that weapon is extremely important to sunk so this is this is literally day one what you should be doing and on what you should be focused on don't worry on day one you won't be able to finish all the chapters but that's how you start playing the game Overall, uh, from the day one, you're gonna be focused on doing the story, okay? You will, there is a normal and hard currently, in future there will be even very hard and rever reverse mode and many other things, but from the get-go, you're gonna be focused on um, doing chapter one, then side chapter, chapter two, and in each of those chapter, guys, you're gonna get two tickets when you finish it all when you complete it and another two if you manage to get all the achievements so per each stage of store you're gonna get free tickets so now you can i can just scroll and you can calculate how much more free black ticket you can get that's why i say that re-rolling on the radar banner is so much higher priority than actual on the standard banner because eventually you're gonna literally pull whatever you need it just depends on the luck here and just depends how much you're gonna progress Doing story is extremely important because like this you're gonna also get the essence material like in e each of those stages You're gonna get essence material plus many other uh, other materials overall Okay, so doing the story will be your highest priority with focusing on the challenges Okay, uh, also battle of trials will be extremely important. I still didn't beat it Although by now I could easily do it. I will there is no hurry for me honestly uh, but yeah, the Battlefield of Trials will be extremely important because here you, not only you can get free summons, but you can also get a bunch of coins, a bunch of other material that is extremely important for leveling up your weapons, um, character skills probably, and many other things, depending on what we get exactly here. Cannot remember everything, but by the looks of it, yeah, I'm right. This is pretty much all really important materials to progress with your characters. So, the story will be your highest priority. When you cannot proceed with the story, you're gonna go with the Battlefield of Trial. Power of Destruction, Battlefield of Time, this is the endgame content, so I won't cover this now. But definitely, it will be also your high priority when you're gonna unlock it. And uh, now, Gates. Gates are also one of the most important things to do because by doing the gate missions you're gonna increase your experience uh, you're gonna level up which is super important in this game leveling up your song is super important because literally your all hunters are connected with song in a way as you level up the song you're gonna be able to increase his stats 
but as well you're going to be able to increase the level of the hunters so experience is this experience in this game is super important and the gates is one of the ways that you can get experience now uh, here i have coins now because i finished all the experience for today but here when you're going to start the game you're going to see here the icon of the experiences and here you it literally shows you how many gate missions you need to do to unlock the first part of the here it's gold but it will be experience at, uh, at from the first time you do this per day uh, so here is three and then i do then i'm gonna unlock this then i do three more then i'm gonna unlock this and then i do probably four more and then i'm gonna unlock this big tip that i can give you for the um gates is you can use sweeping but but with points and the free sweeps if you get that per day i'm not sure does free to play get that so i'm not sure but i can assure you that please do not use your essence material for sweeping that's the biggest mis one of the biggest mistakes that you can do in this game but doing gates is super important i also focus on doing the highest rank gates now i have c rank gates i don't want to do that because as you're going to finish c rank you will get this okay depending on the stages you finish on the gates you're gonna get this mining and it's always your highest priority to go uh for the highest level so a a because here you're gonna get the essence material and s s is actually your highest priority but for now i i didn't have it in this circle so it really doesn't matter just choose the highest ranking gates and you have to do them anyways you cannot rescan constantly now i can for example okay but sometimes like here now i need to use the essence if i want to speed up the process so you're gonna need to wait for a few for like 10 minutes to rescan it again and you find the highest like definitely i would recommend doing only a to s rank uh, gates overall but sometimes when you're going to be tight uh, with the time and everything else you're going to also do the bd and all of that craziness but definitely a and s gates will be will give you the highest rewards and also will give you those mining gates where you can acquire even free essence super important uh, essence is a material for people who don't know you can exchange them for the limited tickets and the um, black tickets now this is one of the biggest mistakes if not i would say the biggest mistake that you can do in this game is exchanging essence for the black tickets as i already explained you before uh, black tickets we get it from the challenges from the story doing so many activities so you do not need to exchange essence for the black tickets you're gonna just grind them and then essence you're gonna use to exchange them for the limited tickets because limited tickets you won't be able to get as much have that in mind also in global launch when we get saw uh, we're gonna have this event right here will it be like this or slightly different i don't know but the principle will be the same we're gonna get the free ssr weapon for Tsa or alicia we're gonna see plus more limited tickets and many other materials if they design it like this you can even summon it uh, the free weapon to get those materials you do the summons on the radar banner but as well you do the dailies like level up some weapon level up hunter etc okay so this is literally guys the day one priority you should be doing now there is also other things uh, in time you i believe i'm not sure when does this unlock but doing encore missions and the instant dungeons are extremely important so you get the artifacts and you make your character stronger i won't go now in full detail about this because this video would last forever and this is not day one priority but definitely as soon as you unlock this grind it grind and grind it artifacts will give it the highest boost and the artifacts are the key to make your account stronger uh and now let's roughly speak about sunk so you're gonna start with assassin pretty much that's what you're gonna start as you're gonna clear story reach certain level clear gates you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger and then you're gonna become the monarch of shadows um and you're good to go then the sunk is at its peak related to the job okay um also the stats will be super important if you remember i was talking about as you level up through the gates through the story and many other ways 
uh, you're gonna increase the level of song which with every increase of level you're gonna be able to add you go, I won't reset now because it costs a cost bunch of coins, but I will explain to you. You will get points and then you can increase strength, vitality, agility, intelligence, perception. I can tell you immediately there is three things you should be focused on. Strength, agility, and perception. More precisely, attack, critical hit rate, critical hit damage, and precision. In the beginning, guys, focus on getting precision to about 80%, 70 to 80%. And then everything else go in attack and critical hit rate and critical hit damage in balance. This is how you're gonna start. Later on the things will change, but for now that's all what you need to know. I don't want to confuse you. So precision, just level it up and you go here until it shows roughly 80%. You're fine with the precision. And then um, in balance, level up so you can go plus 5, plus 10, in balance do plus 10 attack, plus 10 critical hit rate, plus 10 attack, plus 10 critical hit rate, put it in balance, later on you will lower the critical hit rate and critical hit damage and you're gonna increase the attack because you're gonna get from the artifacts and, and weapons you're gonna get those additional critical hit rate overall. Uh, from the weapons you won't be able to see it here but trust me it is applied. Here you have the, you have the numbers from the from this department and from the artifacts okay just here uh, i'm going I'm, I'm not gonna speak now about the best build because for now for the day one that's not important uh, also skills you're gonna log them as you go you're gonna craft you're gonna fuse whatever it's called and then eventually you're gonna also unlock the greatest ultimate and you're gonna learn that part also you have many guides on my channel related to this department and like i said song weapons are extremely extremely important have in mind sr weapon guys what i forgot to mention this is the best sr weapon in the game this is equivalent of the ssr weapon so also if you can pull that weapon uh on selection banner that that would be also crazy good have that in mind sr weapons are extremely good in this game especially songs sr weapons especially this this weapon this weapon not bad at all this weapon not bad at all like this is all like s tier weapons easy 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 but they need a little bit more investment and everything else this is pretty busted weapon as well and yeah this is like top three top four best weapons in my eyes from the srs uh for example skite this is what i said like when you get that first copy which you're gonna get it for free you're gonna increase the user's critical hit rate by 25 percent super busted like this stuff these weapons are like super important for sunk uh, because some mission guys this is how it works some mission you're gonna play with sunk and then you can only sub um like you can only gather support from hunters uh you won't be able to like you're using sung and then i'm gonna transfer to choi no you can only use uh sung and then you can have a help from other hunters i believe yeah you, you take like three hunters uh okay and then there is other fights where you're using only hunters and then you can like really play with them and switch between super fun just check out one of my videos eventually also you're gonna unlock the shadows but that's not day one priority so we won't talk about that this will be also um another buff uh, for your uh, characters and everything else okay guys this is pretty much it this is literally pretty much it for the day one global guide everything what you should be focused on activity fund it's like idle uh, to get experience and many other things as a free to play you won't be able to get that special funds like me only like first time or something like that and that's pretty much it i believe i covered everything um again you're gonna have login bonuses battle passes and all of that but pretty much that's it uh, you have the hunter section again hunter you're gonna level them up based on the level of the sunk so when you reach level 61 with Song, then you can uh, increase the level of all Hunters to 61. Also, one big tip for the day one, when you pull multiple SSRs, just like if you have like, you, you manage to pull somehow 5-6 SSRs, make sure to focus only like on 2-3 in the beginning. 2-3, two, two, uh, because trust me, later on you, you, you won't have enough gold to level everything up. So focus on your main characters that you have. As a free-to-play, you won't be able to build all the characters. Me, even as a low spender, 
Um, I'm a little bit struggling here to do everything. Of course, you need to level up the skills and everything else, but that will be for another topic, etc. I believe this is everything what you should know for the day one global launch. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Leave a like, subscribe, your opinions in the comment section below. I will definitely make a global launch tier list uh, related to the characters we currently have. Will I put some? Probably not because it wouldn't be fair. We still don't have it in the game, but we roughly know what she's going to be capable of and she's going to be got here so maybe i'll even put her we're gonna see that's it sorry that's it guys love you i hope you did enjoy it and yeah see you next one bye